Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. You guys have been asked, asking me, what is the best place to get my vitamin B12? Is it in my stomach, my arm, my delts, my glutes? And I'm here to help you. So make sure you check out my other video where I completely broke down um, the vitamin B12 with the MIC fat loss injections. Um, so I am injection versus subcutaneous. Um, injection of the vitamin B12 with the MIC. First, the, advant the advantages of intramuscular injections is this method is very easy, it's very accessible um, because of the quick access to your thigh muscle. Another advantage is um, how quick the medication can disperse. As you know, IM injections quickly disperse the medication into the bloodstream, so when the body uh, can rapidly disperse it whenever it's needed and also the large capacity of the medication. I am injection injection can deliver a large quantity of the medication and how it's done is there is uh, the needle is inserted at a 90, 90 degree angle. Hold on guys. Needle is inserted at a 90 degree angle so that it pierces the skin down into the muscle and depending upon the location and your body type use a one and a half a one to a one and a half inch needle vitamin b12 has a very thin viscosity so that's uh, so a small gauge needle can be used such as like a 24 gauge needle and this thin needle it does not cause that much damage once it's inserted now the disadvantage if you <laughs> if the injection misses the muscle then the medication is not deposited into the fat then medication that's going to be wasted now side effects can be like swelling redness tingling um, numbness drainage at the injection site prolonged bleeding and possible pain at the injection site bleeding is possible any time a blood vessel is pierced now the sub q or subcutaneous injection the advantage of that is it's easy to give it to yourself in your stomach or your abdomen or your thigh the good absorption if you have good circulation then you will get the complete absorption of the vitamin b12 this method bypasses the oral route where the medication and supplements are often capable of being absorbed and used by the body it's not painful once the needle is through the skin there's very less nerve sensors making inject injection almost painless and how is it done a sharp needle is inserted so that the skin um, it pierces the skin into the fatty tissue, but it does not reach the muscle using a 5 8 of an inch needle and uh, yeah, about a 25 to 27 gauge. The disadvantage is this small capacity of medication. There's a limited amount of medication that can be delivered comfortably. comfortably. So we're talking about um, less than 1.5 mill milliliters can be given comfortably and anytime, anything greater than two milliliters um, can cause pressure at the surrounding tissue and cause pain. Anytime the skin is penetrated, it can create an opening for infection. I'll insert a picture of the different injection sites for the IM and the subcutaneous injection sites. But at the end of the day, whichever method suits you best, just make sure your injections are sanitary, they're effective, they're safe. I prefer the buttocks the best because it's less painful for me and both type of injection have very few side effects and are very effective. However, as always, make sure you consult with your healthcare provider before you take or get these vitamin B12 injections yourself. And I truly appreciate you guys watching this video. So make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you guys check out my other videos. I have a playlist of the vitamin B12. Um, seem like you guys like these videos, so I will keep talking about it. Um, I know a thing or two about these injections, of course, I told you guys. I use them myself in preparation for my competition when I'm about to compete in my bodybuilding competition. So that means right about now, I'm not taking them because I don't start my training until the top of the year and I would keep you guys posted. So if you guys have any questions, I would do my best to answer in the comments. I've been getting better with my communication down in the comment section. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. 
like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys watching my video. Thank you.